Let's, let's transition a little bit, man, because mm -hmm. I got some serious questions. We, we need to talk about this. So, technically, the first season of Bleach just ended. Right. I know that you were in delusional. <laughs> and that's crazy. You know, One Piece fan. I'm not sure why. I don't know why you're fan. Like, you guys are crazy with this. But, you know, hey, I get, you know, low quality. Oh, gas, my. you know what I'm saying, plot armor God. is all there for you, you know, so I can understand, you know, it's, it's basically Dragon Ball Z all over. That's again. crazy. <laughs> <laughs> so now that we are past the first quarter of turn, a thousand year blood war arc, uh -huh. what are your thoughts now as far as how, how you feeling? My thoughts on like it being like it's standing or just like how did I feel about the anime? Or... Yeah, how, how, you, how you feel about the anime? Um, I think, I think honestly, okay, look. This, this particular arc, not the anime as a whole. Okay. Cause I know you be hating on Bleach. <laughs> like, y'all don't know, he'll, he'll rock with Bleach like that. He'll, he's an avid watcher. Like <laughs> he'll, he'll watch it just simply because. It's great. It's, it's, it, Bleach is, Bleach. Okay, the thing is, the big three is a big three. So like, Bleach is a go-to anime. It's Jess. Okay, all right, cool. Hit that. That's a start. <laughs> you know, Naruto and One Piece, kind of, you know. Don't lie. But Naruto, Naruto's, we're not going to get into that. Right. But, so, how did I feel about the Thousand Year Blood War arc so far, like, in the anime? I think that it was, or, like, a masterpiece. I don't like, I feel like, honestly, it was really damn good. Like, Mm -hmm. I I was watching it, and like you know, there's like I said, there's there's things I know because we we've and talked like. Were, and were you caught up? No, you were okay. Yeah, because I I uh, I tried to watch the the manga. I tried to read the manga, mm -hmm. and the thing with me is like, if mangas if if I get if if mangas can't retain retain my my attention, mm -hmm. I will drop the manga. That's why I couldn't finish the uh, Attack on Titan manga. I hate the way it's drawn. Like, yeah, okay. so like certain things, like if it's the way it's drawn, if it's just the pacing is really slow, mm -hmm. if it's things like that, I'll be like, I just can't. Like, that's one of the biggest thing with Jujutsu Kaisen, the manga. I like, uh, there's the, sh ooh, I might be saying this wrong, Shibuya, the Shibuya arc, mm -hmm. which is like a, like a time, like not time skip, but it's like a prequel kind of, like talking about Gojo when he was younger. Right. I, after that arc, it gets really hard for me to keep going because it's kind of gets like, it slows down a bit. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, uh, but like, so with Bleach, there's things I know. Like I knew that Ichigo, spoilers if you haven't seen it. Spoilers. <laughs> like, but I knew Ichigo was um, a Quincy, like mm -hmm. half Quincy. I knew that, but I didn't know all of the extremities of it. I mm -hmm. didn't know like that Yuha, Yuha Baha was the reason why Ichigo's mom died. Like yeah. I didn't, I didn't know that Yuha is Zangetsu as far as like appearance right. because of the power source and mixing yeah. in with the Ha, like all of that. Like so, as I'm watching it, I'm like, okay, yeah, I already knew Ichigo was a Quincy, and then like, but like the more I'm looking, I'm like, when I look, when I when I even when I saw Yuha when when he first aired in the manga, like I you know I follow a lot of YouTuber anime YouTubers, mm -hmm. when I saw Yuha, I'm like. He looks familiar, but I, mm. I was like, I've never seen this man. Why does he look familiar? <laughs> right. So like, as I'm watching the the uh, the two episode special that that had aired like two weeks ago or so, and they're saying like Zangetsu is Yuha from a thousand years ago, like mm. his like his appearance is Yuha from a thousand years ago, and I'm just like, oh, like, and I'm watching it, and I'm like, the plot thickens. Yeah, <laughs> and I'm just sitting there like, how how are y'all do like? Like, Kubo's pen must have been on fire writing that. Like, mm -hmm. how, how, like, I'm, but I, and I'm just like, 
their talk like, I saw someone talking about like, you know, Ichigo's blue vein when he went against Kenpachi. That's the reason why he survived. And, you know, Zangetsu was training Ichigo's power and just like certain things with like, uh, you know, Ichigo's, uh, Zangetsu like restraining Ichigo's power and then little things with his Quincy DNA that helped him through certain situations, like the foreshadowing from way back. Right. And I'm just like, this is crazy because I'm watched, cause when I was, when I watched Bleach, I watched Bleach as it was airing. Mm -hmm. So like when I'm watching Bleach and I'm watching Bleach like back then, like when it was airing on Toonami and stuff like that, and I went back and then I was watching it like, you know, um, on like animefreak.tv and stuff like that. Mm. Um, when I'm watching these things, I'm kind of like not paying the cliffhangers any mind. Mm -hmm. Like Eisen was like, oh no, since the beginning. What do you mean since the beginning? Since you were born. Right. And I'm like. When I first heard that, I'm not gonna lie. I thought I was like, I was like. That's a little on the nose, guys. I was like, that this dude's got like a super god, god complex, right? First. But then when you when he bring it full circle, it's kind of yeah. like, and how they break it down, it was like, okay, that logically makes sense. He wasn't capping when he said that, right? And I'm like, like when everything's hitting me, honestly, and maybe it's maybe I'm saying this because like Naruto's been over for us for a while, mm. but like the way it hits me, it hits me harder than like when they do things that come full circle in Naruto. Right. Because like the way that it like, that's why I've said to you before, like um, Bleach is the most concise of the big three. Cause it's like the, the least amount of episodes, mm -hmm. but the story is, is, is really, really good. Mm -hmm. So it's not like it's like a shorter episodes, but like the story kind of drops off and there's not enough like character development. So as I'm watching it, I'm like, you really like got a, a, a nice, neat story mm. that is really going crazy. Like uh, uh, Vassal Lord Ichigo is the same entity as Black or, or like what was it? The, the hollow that attacked Ichigo's mom and dad. Right. And I'm just like, yeah. even the panels are the same when, mm. when uh, Vassal Lord went against Ukiota. Like it's like the, the it's lit, like someone did a one by one, the, the turnaround, the angles, it's the same. Yeah. And I'm like, this man is crazy. That's what I'm saying. He, he's been giving Easter eggs. That's why, like, I, I, I'll never understand, like, why, in my personal opinion, and it's really hard to say at this particular point, but I was like, in terms of how Kubo brought that full circle, I right. was like, you can't, at this particular moment, I'm only saying right now, mm -hmm. is that you can't not say that in terms of storyline, Bleach is at the top right now. I'm only, and I say that not only like because obviously, obviously, One Piece has a lot of stuff. Like right. even though like One Piece, I, I, I have to give it to to Oda. I was not a One Piece fan, but then when Marine Ford happened, yeah, like it really kind of like turned my attention. And then you know, I saw the episode when Ace first came in, yeah, and then like to hear about you know not paying attention to it, it was like oh Ace got killed, and I was like wait, what happened to this fool? Yeah, and the next thing you know, I'm I'm watching it over and over. So. Yeah. That's why I was just like, I was like, there's a lot of things that have to be answered right now yep. for One Piece. Yeah. That's why it's, it's kind of hard for me to kind of be like, okay, this as a whole. Yeah, and no, I feel that. I feel that. I, Yeah, I feel that because like One Piece, even though we're like kind of like entering the last arc, mm. there's still a lot of, like we just recently in the manga got explanation of how devil, devil, devil fruits are created. Right. Like, so we just on 1060 some odd chapters mm. just got what devil fruits are, like as far as like how they're created. It's not from a tree. Well, it might still be from a tree, but maybe, maybe the, but, but as far as like the process of their creation, we just got that, but we still have a lot of questions about, you know, Luffy's father. I got, I got this one. I got this one. Okay, so let me break this down real quick. Here, here's some of the questions that have, that have kept me entertained watching this. Okay, can Shanks control time? Why is he so close to the Gorosei and they let him live? Who was Shanks' mom? Okay, what is Laugh Tale? You still got to talk about why Blackbeard can, can, can use multiple devil fruits. When he went to impel down, was that was Roxy Beck actually down there? 
they still got to talk about the rocks the back pi or the rocks pirates you know who was he because apparently during that time period he was a big he was a bigger threat to the world than anybody else was at that time and that's saying a lot considering that the gore is say and, and how they've been manipulating the world pretty much up until this point okay we still have to answer you know like i mean they kind of explained as far as like where the devil fruits are from and stuff like that you know they still got to talk about the original holder of the what is luffy's the, the nigga nigga no me the human hey yo See, that just sounds racist nigga, nigga, like that's crazy to me the sun god for what we're gonna say like there's a lot of questions here we you're right you still got to figure out like who you know luffy's mom is right you know what i'm saying you still got to talk about dragon like yeah. they even talked really about his story uh, did they is Savo alive or did they actually? You know, Who we don't know yet. So the people, that's what I'm saying. There's too yeah. many questions yeah, here. We don't know yet. <laughs> like there's a lot of questions that are at, at, at play here, and it's just like I'll give Oda credit because he's left a lot of doors open. And even though they said that supposedly it's supposed to be done in like within the next three years, I don't believe it. Yeah, I don't. I don't that. believe it. that's. There's too much. And and one thing that I stand by when Luffy sees a kind of. There better not be no talking, just straight hands. I, I swear I will throw this computer if they turn this into a 15 episode, straight hands. I don't hear nothing, just hands, just on sight. Armament hockey, let's go. That's it. Luffy better throw an island because I know he's supposed to be throwing an island here in the next couple chapters. Well, he already kind of has, right. but <laughs> against Kaido. Right. But he better throw another island. That's all I'm saying. So I. Odie, oh, don't play with me, bro. I don't know. That's what I'm saying. And that's from an avid watcher. I don't want to hear none of that. Just just straight hands. Man. So, but, but circling back. So, I mean, so... So, would you say that it definitely... It met, exceeded, or, you know, or exceeded your expectations? I would say, so far in the Bleach anime, the Thousand Year Blood War arc, the Thousand Year Blood War arc has exceeded my expectations. Word. Like, you have a favorite moment so far? Whew. Favorite moment so far? Because it'd be too easy to say like our favorite fight because niggas just throwing hands left and right. Pretty much the entire time. I would say, okay, I would say a, a moment I'm disappointed in is Kimpachi versus um, Onohana? Yeah. Oh, are you serious? I You're was disappointed? I was disappointed because it, how can I, how can I articulate this? I don't think that the fight itself disappointed me. I think that I don't know how to explain it. Like it wasn't like I so I saw clips of like I saw like parts of like the panels in the manga. Wait first. Have you actually watched it? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Cool. I, but I, I I don't. Maybe my expectations for that fight were was too high. Because I, I read clips, or I read uh, uh, panels mm -hmm. of the fight in the manga. Right. So like, I went before the episode aired, I was like, okay, okay, oh man, okay, great. But me looking at it in the anime, it didn't, it didn't give what I needed it to like because. Like, Were you okay. expecting to just be like a much more bloodthirsty battle, like just like a, a brawl? I don't even think that. I think it's just the way that the art looked. Hey yo, what the fuck? I thought the art was absolutely amazing. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what it. I, I can't put. I can't put my finger because I don't think the fight choreography or like the fight itself is my issue. Mm. I just feel like visually it didn't scratch the itch I needed. Like the okay. fight itself wasn't wasn't bad at all. Like it was great to see like Unohana's like Bankai. It was great to see Unohana let loose. It was great to see Unohana kill Kenpachi multiple times and then bring him back. And right. like it's, it's great to see this these things, but I don't know why I can't articulate it, but it just didn't scratch a certain itch. I can't I can't put it into words. But like mm. as far as favorite moments I would have to have favorite moments. I can't really put it out to a favorite moment. I would say Ichigo breaking through the the the, the barrier and just showing up to the Soul Society. Okay. Oh my gosh. I would say Captain Yamamoto, even though he was going against Yuha Baha's clone, like it was like a, a copy. Rest that in, whole rest in peace. Man, rest Yamamoto, in peace. Kimi that was so Sasuke, fire. rest in peace, bro. Yeah. They hold you. That was so fire, dude. Because I'm like, 
you're unleashing your bankai. We're going back and forth to the duality of when you when you fought them the first time and you laid waste to them. And mm. like, I think that was just really, really fire. Um, I like the flashback with Ichigo's parents versus, you know, the, you know, the the black, I keep thinking his name white. is White. Okay, right. it was White. Um, that, I, I love, I, I, I loved those moments too. Um, so any pretty, pretty much virtually any fight, except for like the captains getting their ass kicked. I didn't care for any of that. Like <laughs> as far as like a favorite moment, the captains getting their ass kicked because like you I know they can take it. I, I told y'all they were gonna, like people really truly underestimated like how emotionally draining this arc is going to be. Man. But that's why I said I, that's why I give Bleach a credit because like respectfully to all the other ones like. When Bleach gets serious, like it yeah. gets serious. Like it's yeah. like, this is not a game. That's why like, in my personal opinion, like it does exist and I don't care what nobody says, but I believe that Bleach has the least amount of plot armor out of out of all, out of the big three. Um, Cause like Kuchiki, Byakuya, fan favorite, folded. Oh yeah. Toshiro, fan favorite, folded. I thought, I thought Byakuya was dead until like, a, until like the last, a few episodes where they're like, yeah, they're nursing him back to health and stuff like that. Kubo was doing this to Byakuya. <laughs> Man, I, when, 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 when Ichigo showed up, no, when, when Byakuya lost, I was screaming at my screen, like, there is no way that you're about to do this. Like, I cannot, I felt like how people felt when they thought 17 died at the Tournament of Power. People were, <laughs> people were having funerals in real life for 17. I was like, Kubo, if you kill Byakuya, I will never forgive you. <laughs> like, I like I was very bothered. Like, it bothered me to my soul. I was like, kill Renji. I could care. I know Renji, you right. know, spoilers again. S support character. <laughs> yeah, you know, I know Renji, like, survives. I know, like, who he ends up with. I know all that right. stuff. Cool. Don't kill Byakuya. Like, if you kill Byakuya, we're going to have a problem. But, like, what you're saying, like, about the... Um, less plot armor. I feel like, yes, like overall, like as far as like the entirety of Bleach, yeah, they have the least amount of plot armor. I feel like certain parts of Naruto, there were like low plot armor, but like overall, they still had plot armor. Um, One Piece, I love One Piece of Death, but Luffy should have died a lot of times, I ain't gonna lie. Like, I'm not gonna lie, I love One Piece to death. I love One Piece. One Piece is peak fiction. But, if we're being honest, Zoro should have died. Luffy, Zoro definitely should have died. They all should have died. Luffy should have died. Yeah, a lot of them should have died. Oh. They all should have died. Like, yeah, yeah. They, yeah. they all should have died. Because what is it? Um, Kizaru, when he came there, yeah, come on, when, come on, let's see. When Kizaru came to Savodi, I was like, I was very much like, how? Like when I, whenever I'm watching anime, if I'm like, if I'm very much questioning how are they going to survive, mm. that's like a real like. So with Sasuke, when Sasuke went to the Five Kage Summit, he should have died. Like I saw someone saying like, oh, Sasuke rolled up on the Kages and he tanked Unoki's light style. Sasuke did not tank. <laughs> Sasuke was Sasuke from from Sasuke's induction into the Akatsuki after he beat Itachi beat Itachi to the when he resurrected the the the, the previous Okages it was just him getting his ass whooped like the Raikage beat the hell out of him. Big ass stick. Like, <laughs> like, I'm like, you're like, I'm like, how is Sasuke gonna make it to the end of the show? Naruto can't save him if he's like, he's about to die. Raikage, if Gaara didn't save Sasuke, he would have died. If Tobi didn't save Sasuke, he would in, in that one arc in the fight in the Kage Summit, mm. he would have died like four times. Poisoned. Poisoned, melted, turned to dust from the light style. Donzo kamikaze himself. Like, I'm like, yo, what is that? Like, and at the end, that was just full plot armor because Madara stabbed homie through the chest. He held him up and said, if only I would have had you instead of Obito, my plan would have succeeded. Oh, well, 
and stabbed him and left him to die. And then the ninja Jesus had to come back from some plane of existence <laughs> to resurrect him and Naruto because both of them actually died. Mm -hmm. Again, guys, this is why I say watch Bleach. <laughs> much more realistic 